In this video, I will show you how to use secondary bootloader to dump a binary image into the LPC1768 uh, microchip. So, as you can see right now, there is uh, I already have uh, loaded uh, the secondary bootloader which uh, NXP provide with uh, the chip itself. So, I have loaded this hex file, and as you can see, this um, the board is uh, actually into the secondary bootloader. So the one thing that we have to do is to recognize this board as a secondary bootloader. Uh, I mean to detect this uh, board as a USB mass storage class. We have to press this reset. Sorry. We have to press the reset and then quickly press ISP button. And as you can see here, this LED glows up. Okay, this, this blue LED. I hope you can see this. LED glows up and here on the screen you can see this USB mass storage class has been detected and as I click this reset you can see this will go away and now as I can do this again if I can again click reset and then ISP switch it will again appear it will disappear and as I can do this one more time and you can see now this uh, uh, this device LPC1768 has been detected as a USB mass storage class. So what you have to do is you just have to open the USB mass storage class and just minimize this window and check your firmware here in this case I have this main.bin file so I copy that main.bin file and paste this file binary image into the mass storage class and as you can see it still be into the bootloader mode mass storage class and I just have to uh, you know press this reset switch so that this binary image will load into this LPC1768 and so let me press this reset switch and this blue LED will be off and as you can see now only green LED is blinking with around one second of delay so this is what I want to show you that how you can use this uh, secondary bootloader which um, basically is a USB um, secondary bootloader and uh, you can detect this uh, device LPC1768 as a mass storage class and then you can put your binary image into LPC1768 so that you don't need external programmer or serial programmer for uh, upgrading your firmware latest firmware I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining if you want more details about this uh, sec USB secondary bootloader then please find the link down below in the YouTube description box so i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye